so it has been a while since kind of doing a video and also you know well video on my instagram or my youtube like it's been a while a lot has been happening but this week has just really been impressed on my heart to just kind of get back into that motion and one of the things that my spiritual father apostle johnny newer taught me is to start anyhow and that is exactly what i'm going to do even though it's painful right now just start anyhow and do it anyhow so i just wanted to basically just speak quickly on matthew chapter 6 verse 33 which the word of the lord tells us that we should seek but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you i i i to be honest when i switched the camera on i was like i didn't even i was like okay god what is it that you actually want me to to talk about because I feel like I'm used to kind of speaking about you know God's got you be positive be you know on the roll you know you know like things and talking about things that basically trying to uplift the spirit of you know those who watch like my content and videos and stuff like that um but like the last few weeks have been very tough and hard and one thing that I feel like the Spirit of the Lord is really trying to get me to a point is to just focus and center everything on Him. And I felt like, okay, if God is saying that to me, or I feel that in my spirit, then why not also share the same thing with everyone, right? Because essentially, my purpose here on earth is to spread the Word of God to everybody and anyone who will listen. And when I read, see, but seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. I feel like sometimes we get that misconstrued in a sense of people feel like, especially because I see people on Instagram with like that verse in their bio, but what they do and how they conduct their lifestyle, it doesn't really, doesn't really adhere to the scripture that they've got in their bio but that's just a that's just a by the way that's just a <laughs> by the way but it's also because i feel like in our dispensation there's been a rise don't get me wrong there's been a rise in people youth who are really trying to seek more of god's face and trying to get to a place where they also you know take Christ seriously, the love of God seriously. It's like the spirit of the Lord is moving in such a dynamic way in this season and in this time, because obviously the prophecy is that there will be a great falling away. But I feel like the spirit of the Lord is also moving to get key people to get to a place where they're getting their house in order. And I feel like that's the reason why Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 was impressed on my heart, because it's a reminder to all of us and all of you who are listening that we need to seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first God's agenda for this world for our lives seek first god's intention seek first god's thoughts seek first god's desire i know as youth we tend to you know try and live life the way that we desire or see for ourselves and many of us have actually been prophesied to or spoken to in our lives that this is where god wants you to get to and sometimes we make excuses for ourselves because we're like oh we're young you know we can still live life we can still do this but this is for me, if this is God's way, you listening to this video is God's way of telling you there's no better time than now. There's no better time than now to pick up your Bible, pick up yourself and stand firm in God. Seek you first the kingdom of God means that every other thing, whether it be career, whether it be business, whether it be education, whether it be family, whether it be um, finances, whether it be material things, all of that is secondary. All of that is noise. What's important and what's primary in this season is seeking first God's kingdom, seeking first God's agenda, seeking first God's mind, seeking first what God wants you to do, seeking first your God-given destiny and purpose in this life. What's important is that you pick up yourself and say, Lord, just like for just like in the Bible where the Lord was speaking to Samuel, Samuel was just only was only a child when he when the Spirit of the Lord spoke to him. But what was very ideal and very purposeful after the, the after the third time that the Spirit of the Lord called Samuel, 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 Eli told Samuel that when you hear the voice of God again, say, Lord speak to me for your servant is listening this is the season to say your servant is listening lord what do you want me to do and where do you want me to go 
um, in our ministry, the season that we've entered is a season of stepping up, is a season of step up, which is this month of September. And I've just been asking the Father, like, what does that mean? And it's just been, all I've been feeling in my spirit is to serve him wholeheartedly. And I've just been like, but Lord, I'm serving you. I'm, I, I'm in full-time ministry. I'm serving you. I'm trying to do, but what God is basically trying to get me to understand and what I'm trying to get you on to understand is that in everything that I do to place Jesus Jesus at the center of it. Even when I'm crying, place Jesus at the center. Even when I'm happy, place Jesus at the center. In whatever endeavors that I'm trying to get done, in line with God's purpose for my life, place God at the center of it. Don't get overwhelmed by the cares of life. Don't get overwhelmed by the things that don't matter. Don't get overwhelmed by the things that you know, you can't physically change. It requires divine intervention. Don't get consumed by the things that if you just go into prayer and seek the, the face of God, God will turn it around for you. So that's just a quick charge that I just wanted to speak to you guys about. And yeah, until next time. Bye.